And going back to photograph the same animal again and again is going to drastically improve your wildlife photography. I remember hearing this years ago when I first started out. And did I do it? Nope. It took me until I started taking people out to photograph the black grouse lek year after year. And for the last three years, I've come back here to photograph them. And I can say that it's massively improved my photography to do that. There are so many benefits to going back to photograph the same species over time. And in this video, I'll share seven of my top reasons why it'll help your photography. Treat them as tips on what to look out for to get the most from your return visits. Number one, I would say, is learning the behavior of the animal. Now you can read up on the behavior of an animal before you go out and photograph it, but I don't think there's any substitute for actually watching an animal in the field over time. To learn the kind of behavior you might want to photograph, once you really get your eye in, you might also see that there are certain behaviors that might predict the behavior that you want to photograph, so that you're actually ready to capture it when it happens. And also just by coming back again and again, you're more likely to see behaviors that you might not have seen if you just occasionally go photograph the animal. Number two, learning about the location. Just because you've been to a location and photographed an animal there, doesn't mean that you know the location or that you've exhausted the kind of photographic possibilities of the locations. There are so many small differences in how you position yourself, where the animal positions itself, it's endless little possibilities that you only see by coming back over time. Number three, light. By going back, again and again, you learn about the light in that location. You know where it's gonna fall, you know where to position yourself to get a certain angle towards the light, to be able to photograph backlit, sidelit, frontlit. By coming back again and again, you'll also get to experience loads of different types of light that you just wouldn't be able to catch just by coming occasionally. You'll see that where the light falls will change depending on the time of year. So you'll get the golden light in different directions by coming back through the year as the light direction changes as well. By coming back again and again, you get to photograph the animals in all sorts of different weather types. And that will really create some variety to your images. You might also see that certain animals might behave differently, especially in extreme types of weather, snow and high winds and storms and rains. You, know, you can get a lot of interesting variety by coming back again and again and experience the different types of weather through the seasons. By going back, you'll start to push yourself creatively you realize that you have most of the safe, easy images, and you'll spend more time going after those images that aren't so easy to get, the ones where you'll fail most of the time. When you do get them, they're really going to stand out. A Paul Nicklin calls this the 20-60-20 rule, and I can highly recommend his Masters of Photography course. You can use the link above or in the description to get a free lesson. By going back again and again, and by looking at the images that you've been taking over time, you really start to get a feel for what works and what doesn't work. You'll actually start to get a feel for when not to take an image. You know, it might just be a certain 
pose that the animal is making that you know that isn't going to look very good. So you'll wait until it moves into a better position or you wait until it turns its head slightly or it shows more of its legs or whatever it is. You'll only start to learn those kind of things by seeing the animals over and over again and taking a lot of images and looking at them and learning from what you've been seeing and taking photos of. So you really start to get a better feel for when to press the shutter. I finally, by going back to the same location again and again, you'll actually start to visualize what type of images you want to get at that location for that animal. It's, um, it's, something, it's an experience that you'll only get through spending a lot of time photographing that animal. You start to notice a situation that you might want to photograph, but it just needs to be slightly differently. You, know, you might not have the right light, or you might not have the back, back, right background, or anything like that. Or it might be a shot that you missed. You, know, you didn't get it. It was a fast action, but you know that you have a better chance of getting it the next time the conditions are right. Now for me, when I made the commitment and started uh, taking people out to photograph the black grouse leg, that is when I committed to coming back here again and again, no matter the weather or the light or anything, I would always come here. So there's no surprise that black grouse is the animal that I would say I have some of my best images and also the animal that I have loads of variety of images. I have photographed them in you know all sorts of conditions and light and close up and wide angle and you know you name it. And it's just because I've come back again and again. I also know their behavior very well now, having spent so much time with them. And I'm able to predict a lot of the things that they do that I know that I want to photograph. I'm sure there are more benefits to coming back and photograph the same animals again and again, but these are the top ones I could think of. Please let me know in the comments if you can think of any other and share with the rest of us. Or just leave a comment, say hi, and let me know if you liked the video or not. Last year, I had many talented wildlife photographers come here to photograph the black grouse lake. I'm gonna leave you with some of the images they've sent me to share.